When I first started this game, I made a video talking about the best early game ways to make money in Dinkum. Now that I'm all the way at the end of autumn, there are definitely some better ways to make money, some more efficient ways to make money. So we are going to go over them. Let's get straight into it. Metal detecting is probably one of the more efficient ways to make money in the game. All you have to do is grab your metal detector, grab your shovel, and dig up whatever you find. You're gonna find a lot of these barrels. You may find some uh, some garbage cans as well. You're gonna take this stuff. You're gonna collect as much as you can carry. You're gonna take this stuff to John and he's gonna give you the big bucks now, as you can see. Now, keep in mind, you will need a lot of this stuff to give to Franklin to craft the, uh, the things that he can craft, such as motorcycles and all kind of fun stuff. You will also need these things to repair your towers around the map. But if you have anything extra or left over, or if you just are in desperate need of money, then go ahead and sell them because you'll make some pretty good dink. Now, I forgot to mention, don't sell your shiny disc and don't sell your keys. We're going to learn about the keys next. Going into the deep mine is also a pretty good way to make money. First thing you're going to need, though, is a mine pass. It costs 25,000 dinks, and you can only use it one time. So one use only. You can't go down and go back up and then go back down even in the same day. So grab your mine pass and head on down into the deep mine. But before you get down into the deep mines, you want to make sure you are properly prepared. So make sure you have a weapon, a pickaxe, a light source, eat some food that increases your health and stamina, and also bring your old keys because you're definitely going to need them. So let's head on down. Once you're in the deep mines, what you're primarily looking for are rubies and also rooms. You want to, your old keys will open up those rooms for you. Uh, they require two for each room. The rooms have gear inside of them, but the rubies are definitely what you're going to be looking for. It might be also helpful to bring a wheelbarrow down here as well. I have a wheelbarrow and I forgot to bring it. I forgot to bring it. But anyway, with this flashlight, you can also stun the enemies. Uh, so that is going to be really helpful if you're surrounded or if you just want to take care of them really quickly. So that's why you want to get the flashlight as well. But you're going to find the rubies. The rubies sell anywhere between 50K and 80K. So they're really good. Some of the items you can find in those treasure rooms um, are going to be really helpful as well, such as a mining helmet, a candle helmet. Um, and also um, there is also iron weapons you can find that you may not want to use and you can sell them like an iron hammer. I've, I've found so many iron hammers. They're really strong, but they're really slow. So I just sell them. So deep mines, great way to make money. Uh, if you can <laughs> if you can stand all these bats, look at all these bats. Oh, my gosh. I just stunned them all, I think. <laughs> All right, on to the next tip. Now, farming is also a great way to make money, but you probably want to get started on this once you have rain as a permanent residence. That way you have a permanent and never ending supply of seeds. You don't have to wait a month for her to come back. But growing crops, if you have a big enough supply of crops, can earn you a lot of dink. My uh, my farm isn't too big yet. That's because I don't have rain. So uh, rain's uh, little residence is being built as we speak. But once I have her, I'm going to buy as many seeds as I can and start expanding this farm. And that way we'll have a permanent source of money and food for when I go down into the deep mines. Fishing is also a great way to make money. And while I don't do a lot of fishing in my game, if that's something you enjoy, then you can definitely earn a lot of dink doing so. Some of the fish you want to look out for are the marlin, the yellow tuna, the barracuda. Those will get you the most dinks for your time and effort. So just go to where they are, find them on the wiki, go to where they are and fish up as many as you can and take them back to John and you'll be swimming in dink in no time. Pun intended. And here are a couple of other random tips that can get you some dinks. Make sure you're checking your community board because sometimes there's some really easy things on here that can get you a pretty decent amount of dinks, such as give 26 apples to Theodore. If it's raining on your island, if you hear a loud thunder, make sure you look around for, I believe it's called a thunder egg or a lightning egg. But anyway, make sure you look around for it and crack it open because out pops a bunch of opal. and You can sell them to John for a decent amount of money. To maximize your deep mining, make sure you also craft a bunch of cages because you can take them down there and capture those glowing crocs and put them in the elevator. And then when you leave, just turn them all in and they go for about 12,000 dinks each. And finally, while you're out digging around, make sure you be on the lookout for amber because those can also sell for quite a lot, just like rubies. You want to take them to John and get them weighed and depending on how much they weigh, John will give you dinks. So there you have it, folks, some of the best ways that I have found to make money in Dinkum. Let me know if you have any other tips. Leave some comments below. Subscribe to the channel for some more Dinkum content, and I will see you in the next video.